Colin Miller again, bowling his off spinners. Oh, that's got in the air. This is going to be safe, is it? No, this might be out. Oh, there's a collision. Oh, a dreadful collision down there. Dreadful collision. My goodness. Well, two of them charging down towards each other. Is that, uh, who's that? Uh, is that Steve War? I think he's holding his nose. And uh, there was no real coin. Look at, uh, is it Gillespie down there with him? Uh, Steve War not feeling good at all. Well, that was one of the worst that I've seen. Both these players desperately going for it. And uh, the captain, it looks to me as if he's got a bit of a problem. Have a look at it again. Up she goes. No call here from the outfielders. They were both so intent on getting there. It was one of those that actually bounced right between them. Have a look at them. Eyes on the ball. That's Gillespie coming in there now. Watch Steve Waugh. And there's a big collision there. Head on and right into... Oh, Steve Waugh's gone straight into his forehead. So um, it looks as if Steve Waugh may well have damaged his nose. I suspect this. He may have broken his nose there. However, he's moving around all right, but uh, still flat on his back. That's a nasty one. It's horrendous. It's something that happens from time to time in this game, and uh, invariably it's through lack of communication. But at the same time, normally speaking, one player or the other will call for it, say, that's mine. But when both have got exactly the same chance, there you see the forearm of Gillespie swiping across the face of Steve War. The bridge of the nose is the first thing he holds. But it's, uh, it's not the first time that I've seen this sort of thing happen, but it, it is something that sometimes is inevitable, sometimes through lack of communication. But it's not nice to see. Yes, I think he's been opened up, actually. I thought for a second it was on the forehead, but if it's the arm, it's, uh, it's probably not quite as bad. Let's have a look at this. In he goes there. Oh, it's almost arm and shoulder. And uh, I think he's opened uh, Steve War up. It looks as if he's got a cut down the side of his nose. You can see his hand going straight for his nose there and uh, back he goes he'd be pretty well dazed as well so uh, this doesn't look good he's uh, he's obviously got a very damaged nose at the moment and uh, there's uh, there's a lot of blood all over the place so uh, steve war is going to be carried off the ground there's no doubt about that with a bit of luck they've got a, a stretcher on this ground somewhere but uh, they want to get him away now the other one the other problem is gillespie is lying they're not getting much attention at the moment it happens to fast bowlers they did look after batsmen a bit more more so and if you're captain it's a big advantage as well gillespie is in uh, looks as if he's got a bit of shoulder pain there yeah nobody's too worried about jason gillespie there's blood around steve war one more this is a great angle both looking at the ball now you'll see war's face go into Gillespie's shoulder there shoulder upper arm I would say yeah nasty nasty collision so war is bound to go off he's still on his back in fact Gillespie is now being carried off yes uh, those those two gentlemen watching there are, uh, are uh, the chairman of the board of uh, control for cricket in Australia, the Australian Cricket Board. That's uh, Dennis Rogers, and alongside him, the Chief Executive, Malcolm Speed, and they'll be watching some pretty nasty scenes. And now, he's been taken off. I'm just trying to think, that just judging by the way they're carrying him off there, uh, one can only assume that uh, he's trying to, if it's his shoulder, it's not a great way to carry him. But anyhow, he's been taken off. The, that's a huge blow to Australia. He's going off, a leading bowler being taken off the ground. I don't know whether it's his leg. It just looks to me that they're trying to hold his leg. It may be his knee is buggered. He was holding his uh, shin bone at one stage, whether it's that and they, they, that's why they're carrying him in that, in that way. But let's see, we've got nose on arm. And where does... Yeah. Steve Wars crashed into the lower part of... Jason Gillespie's right shin so I think that's Gillespie's problem and uh, that's Steve Waugh's problem he looked um, a couple of rounds with Mike Tyson here not a pretty sight and not a pretty feeling a bang on the beak is uh, not a lot of fun yes he'll have some big black eyes there but uh, good to see him walking in here if I know Steve War, he'll be back on the field before long. But uh, it may just be that he needs stitches. Now, let's see if we can just pick up what happens to Gillespie and what he hangs on to uh, once the, the collision takes place. Right knee looks as if it could be a problem. He goes over now onto his back, and let's just see if we can pick up what he holds. Um, at this stage, he's just trying to 
let's see now he lies he lies there on his left side where does his hand go to his hand goes straight down to his right shin that's the first thing he grabs well we'll get a report no doubt from the dressing room uh, the australian team are very good with this sort of thing they'll uh, they'll certainly let us know they'll want to they'll want us to pass the messages back on to australia so uh you see he's grabbing his leg there, his right shin it seems that that's a, the bit of a bit of a problem he may well um have done himself a little bit of damage there uh, robin i think that's probably what it is so uh, a very worried uh, chairman of the board of control and uh, malcolm speed so uh, that's the situation here at the moment uh, we'll be back in just a moment <laughs> 